Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs Wild. This is episode 116. And just in case you didn't know, these episodes come out every other day now. So, in this episode, uh, I am in this market that I, I built. Look at these little witches. They have their aprons on. They're workers here. This is supposed to be like a, a grocery store. See, as you can see, you can go anywhere from... You can get anything from sugar to uh, mushrooms and kind of shit like that. And, um, it's expensive, but it's okay. This is the, it used to be an old factory building, just in case, uh, if you guys remember, way back when there was factories in this area, uh, there was like a water treatment plant right where I'm walking, and there's this factory here, and, uh, that one's re rebooted, but it's like very green, like it makes no gas at all, no, no problems for the sky. Anyways, I'm gonna climb over this fence, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to fly, <laughs> it was that little extra tooth that made me fly, and anyways, we're gonna fly over here. And today's project, as you might see by the title, we are going to build a skyscraper on water. Yums. So, um, it's going to be right here. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to, what it's going to be made out of. So, I really didn't think this at all. <laughs> I didn't think this through. So, this is kind of just random. Just beginning. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, um, let's start on a corner here. Uh, I do the Tino groan. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna line it up with that underground, like, can you see, you see how in the water there's like that, um, sidewalk a little bit? That used to be a park back in the day. Let me see. Uh, should it be four? Okay, if it's four blocks tall out of the water, then it lines up with the floors, correct? Let me see. Give me a map. It is a Y of 68. We are gonna go over here now. And is this a Y68? Yes, it is. But I don't want the bottom of the hotel floor being stone brick. So I'm going to make it... Oh, how does it make sense? Okay, so I'm thinking of like a, a platform. So it's going to be one lower. Oh, that's low to the water. Shoot. But it's going to be one lower and it's going to... Okay, where's the other line? It's like right... right. That's too small, actually. It needs to go farther out. So if this is the line right here. You see that? This is where the park used to be. There used to be a nice little park. If you watch all the episodes before episode 50, you'll know. Um, so there's that. Let's line it up with... Okay, it's going to hit the statue, but let's see. Right there. So... Yep, okay. Go up. And I forgot the dimensions of this already. I'll just go out and count it again. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, okay, so we gotta make it 15 on this side, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh god, if I fuck up these dimensions. I'm just trying to do this really, really fast. Alright. That does not look even at all. I mean, obviously. Alright, hold on. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, think that's where it should go. I mean, if it's a little screwed up, obviously it probably might be. If it is, then oh well. <laughs> it's okay. At least there'll be more room for the hotel. So now let's make this foundation look like it's actually like being held up physically and like by good engineering. Here we go. Because you can just imagine the scientists in the world are like, we gotta make... It's like, no, they won't sound like that. <laughs> but like, we gotta make uh room because we're running out of room horizontally and vertically so we got to make room for the water to be able to put living spaces on water and shopping spaces on water also hey it's gonna happen in the future when i'm an old fart it's probably gonna happen so they'll have houses on water i mean they already kind of are doing that out in dubai where it's, and where they're rich as fuck out in the united emirate united arab emirates and shit like that you know they're rich as fuck so they can do all kinds of projects they can eventually they're gonna be the first ones to do floating houses and shit like that. <laughs> we already know. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna skip this monotonous part. So okay, we are back and um, we need to make this look a little more supported because if I was a smart engineer, wait, where's the? I think this is the. You see that? The shadow right there. That's the middle. Unfortunately, it is wrong because that's how you can tell. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. We can make this fit still. So 
Let's do this again, going around. Keep in mind, guys, I'm only going to cut out. This might be a long video, maybe, maybe not. I'm only going to cut out the parts that are, like, I know are going to be exactly the same thing over and over and monotonous and shit like that. But if it's a little bit different, then you want to see the part of process. So, there's that. That looks pretty cool. Um, nice. I have this... I don't like how it looks down here, though. Like, underneath the water, it just looks like one tiny little thing. Like, it'll just collapse. So, let's add some light under here so it's not just dirt. Because, technically, in real life, you couldn't just put a foundation just like that. It'd have to go into the ground, like, ten feet. With, like, a whole bunch of metal rods and bullshit. But, in Minecraft, if we were to make this look realistic, let's add stone right here. So, it looks like we built the stone foundation first. So that way it sits on a foundation and not just dirt. So eventually it won't just like get sucked in by like, you know, the earth. The earth. Because you never know. So let's make it look realistic as possible. Here we go. Oh. And once again, I will cut this part out. Alrighty. And there we are. That is done. Whew. I like that. It's much better lit up. It looks more like supported and shit like that. Now we are going to figure out how to make this not look like a flat, boring, like, concert stage or something like that. Let's make it... Hmm. What are we going to make this building out of, first of all? We need to figure that out. <laughs> um, we also need to find the center of it. And I want this to be a very rich, pretty-looking building, building. So let's do one of these materials, these rocky materials. Um, let's see, yeah, you see, let's do diorite. So, diorite, and, uh, fuck. Where is the center, first of all? So, say this is the center. These four blocks. Um, no, five blocks. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five on this side. And one, two, three, four, five on that side. So, it looks like it's going to be an odd number on this side. So... We are going to grab a door. It's going to be a jungle door. There we go. And the glass color of this building, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I want one of these big, like, step open things. And then let's do light blue. Why not? Change the color up a little bit. Most of the city is, like, regular color glass. Some of the buildings I've changed to a different color glass. That's because I want to change so many other buildings to colored glass. But that's going to take so damn long. Uh-uh. <laughs> Anyways, let me see. Uh, no, let's see, let's see. we got to make a facade design. A facade, guys, if you don't know, is the front of the building. Like, the, the architectural design of it. Whether it has, like, uh, ridges from, like, all kinds of, like, pieces of stone sticking out in different ways. Or all kinds of architectural stuff like that. It's, it's very pretty. Whether they have, like, curls and looks like a fancy couch on the front or something. It's got to look different. It can be art deco and all kinds of weird designs. If you look up, like, architecture designs or stuff like that, or uh, architecture formats, maybe, something like that? I don't know. Um, you'll see. Uh, like, an example, art deco is um, the design that is used to create at the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. And if you look at it, obviously it's a, a tiered building with like lots of, um, I guess, tall skinny windows in some way. And like an old kind of like granite rock or something. A stone of some sort. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it means by definition, but <laughs> that's what I can guess. Uh, that looks cool. So we're going to mix polished and unpolished granite. It's going to be a very shiny white building. Uh, did I say granite? Did I say diorite or granite? I'm not sure. <laughs> I meant diorite. And we're going to make everything in the middle, like there, uh, polished. And every we're going to make the top and bottom uh, unpolished, like that. Um, this side of the window, we can do... How, how, how are we going to do this? How, how, how? Um, do we want a big window in the middle, or do we want to split it up even more? I don't want a lot of windows. I kind of, but not really. Let me see if we can make it like that. No, no, no. I want a big window on the sides, 
and a small window on the back, I think. So, let's do a window that size, maybe? No, no, no. We're gonna do, okay, I think I've got it now. I think I've got it. So we're gonna do one skinny window on the side. And it's gonna be bordered, like that. And then we're gonna do, oh, can we change it back to daytime? It's getting dark. There we go. Oh, that's bright stone. <laughs> I'm doing this at night in the dark, so it's kind of like really bright. Um, we're gonna make this a continuous window. See, my in my terminology, when I'm building a continuous window, is gonna have no border like that. It's just gonna go straight all the way up. Uh, if it's bordered, it's obviously gonna have like a little thing going across it of like whatever stone or block you used. Um, so we're gonna do uh, skinny bordered windows there, and then a continuous window on in the middle, like this. And that's going to continue all the way up the side of the building. And then we're going to do... I think we'll do a border here to match the corner of the other sides. So border on the corner. And a skinny one, so only by one. And then we'll do... We'll do another bordered one, perhaps? Or... Continuous looks good actually, so we'll, do, we'll keep the continuous look, and then we'll just have this not be windows. We'll just have that be the unpolished, to give it a design. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's done. That's what the bottom of the buildings looks like. I'm not going to do the whole building now, or do like a uh, time lapse, because that's going to be too goddamn much. <laughs> so, let's save that for another day. Now what I'm trying to figure out is how to make a, how to make this platform a little less dangerous. How do we not fall off? And how do we get back on the regular land? That's the thing. So first, let's put these uh, cobblestone walls. I wish they made stone brick walls. They should. But uh, that's a suggestion maybe you guys can do. <laughs> I could always do it, but you know, they wouldn't answer me either. So I don't know. There we go. And now let's make a stone bridge now that, it's actually perfect that it's three that's three across or three wide that's actually really perfect so here we are now keep messing it up Ooh, it splits right through the middle of a column that's actually not a bad design here let me try something so let's get some uh, stone steps and let's do this there we go Hey, that's not actually really bad. That's actually really cool looking. Just to walk right next to a column of uh, the elevator train. That's not bad. Look at that. That worked out for the best. But... <clears throat> I almost threw up on that one. <laughs> Let's make this like the bridges that we have over there with uh, jungle wood. And... Oh crap, they changed the dimensions of the jungle wood. Now it like flips if you like face it a certain direction. Yeah, see? Oh, and does it do that? No, it's all vertical. Because that's... I built those back when it used to only go vertical. No matter what direction you made it from. Oh, this is going to take forever. We're going to cut this again. Alrighty, we are back. And I finished the bridge. And I'm going to add torches now to the outside. And we're going to change it to date I mean, nighttime soon. Uh, probably to see how it looks. So, let's add torches to the corner. Obviously, where they should be. For symmetri uh, sym symmetry. <laughs> I almost said symmetrical, for symmetrical, sure. And uh, let's change it to nighttime to see. There. And yeah, it's pretty dark right here. So we're going to put right there. And there. And here. And. Okay, so the bridge needs. Okay, should I put it on the cobble? Yes, cobble. And the bridge, we'll just put it on the bridge where it needs to go. Uh, here, here. It's. Pretty lit down there. <laughs> lit, dude. And I think this is the darkest spot of the bridge, so. There we are. Uh, we need to make this bridge look like it's actually connected and not like just touching. Make it look like when you connect Lego pieces, you have to like put a little connector piece in the bottom of something to make it look like it's or, or to actually connect it physically. Or else it'll just slide. It'll slide right apart. Alright. There we go. Make it look like a little notch thing holding it up. Her, 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 notch. <laughs> and one on the other side, too. There. 
the bridge looks a little bit more secure. Let's band those together. And I think this is it. If there's anything else, I'm going to try to finish this building off camera and do all kinds of stuff. So it'll be a few hours. <laughs> Anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe today if you enjoyed watching me build this. Uh, suggest anything in the comments. Um, share this video to anybody who likes Minecraft. And so, goodbye, elites. Goodbye.